Hey guys, my name is Divya. I'm a doctor and I've held a management role with a healthcare company for a while. I've been doing a series of videos on my channel to help everybody with certifications that they're working on. So today I'm beginning the PGMP series. This is the Program Management Professional Series, a very difficult exam and certification offered by PMI, the Project Management Institute. Um, I, I've been meaning to kick this off for a while. Sorry it took me so long, guys, but I've been meaning meaning to do it and this is the time that it took me to, got re to get ready and actually film this video. So I'll be answering a few questions about the PGMP today. Um, it covers eligibility criteria, why you should at all consider the PGMP, why I did the PGMP, the exam cost and the basic exam format. There are timestamps in the description box below so if you want to skip through and only look at things that you want answered please feel free to do so. So after this longish introduction, let's get right into the video. So question number one, guys, why should you at all consider the PGMP? So the PGMP stands for the Program Management Professional Exam, quite a difficult exam, prestigious exam offered by PMI, um, and there are less than 4,500 professionals world over who hold this certification. So usually people apply for the PMP, which is the Project Management Professional Exam, also offered by PMI, and there are about 800,000 professionals or more world over. So you can see that you would be one of the few if you hold the PGMP certification. Uh, I did my certification about a couple of years back and back then there were less than 3,500 world over. And I will say that this certification taught me a lot. So it's really up to you to decide whether you want to do it or not. It does offer you a lot of knowledge, um, a little bit of a niche circle, and I do think it's overall worth it. Question number two, why did I do the PGMP? So guys, a lot of times people ask me this, you're in medicine, you're a doctor, why did you even consider doing a, a PGMP? So I've mentioned this on my channel before that I am really up for management certifications uh, because no matter what you do, whether you're working for a hospital, an organization, um, a company, um, a healthcare company, I think management always plays a role. And even in hospital guys, as you rise up the charts, a lot of management um, certifications or MBAs do help you. I did not opt for the MBA route, but I have opted for management certification routes and I've been trying to up my certification and better myself um, every so often and every couple of years. It has helped me overall uh, and it's also given me a peek into healthcare companies, which has been um, a jolly good ride in my career and my learning process. So I hope I answered that question really well. So question number three, guys, who is eligible to take the PGMP? So I will leave the link to the handbook below because it discusses the eligibility criteria and other things in detail. If you're considering the PGMP certification, definitely take a look at the handbook because it answers a lot of questions and discusses a lot of topics. In general, if you hold a high school diploma or a two-year degree, then you need 48 months of project management experience or the PMP certification. And you also need 84 months of program management experience in the last 15 years. So if you had experience more than 15 years back, you cannot document that. If you hold a four-year degree or a bachelor's degree, then you need 48 months and 48 months. 48 months of project management experience or the PMP certification. And you also need 48 months of program management experience, uh, which is going to be documented on the application. In general, guys, a simple definition of program is that it's a group of interrelated projects. Um, and you would have to show that on the application that you've managed both projects and programs so as to be eligible for this certification. Question number four, what is the exam fee? So the PGMP costs about $1,000 if you're not a member of PMI and it costs about $800 if you are a PMI member. So here in India, that would translate to about 78,000 rupees, a little less than that if you're a non-member, and about 47,000 rupees if you are a member. So the exchange rate does keep changing, guys, so I think it's just better to mention the cost of the exam in dollars, and that's why I started with that. Question number five, what does the exam look like? So in a very short summary, 
Uh, the exam has about 170 questions and you have four hours to complete it. Again, we will be discussing more on the exam in a separate video, but I just wanted to give you the basic crux. Question number six, what does the application process look like? So the process has many steps, guys, and just remember that the application itself is pretty long and detailed, so don't get bogged down by it, but you do want to spend about three weeks just doing the application. So what I'm listing out here are not the details or the questions asked on the application, but the process. So open up the application, submit the application, Step number one is submitting the application. Step number two is somebody is going to check whether your application is somewhat complete. Once you get the okay for the completeness, some applications are randomly selected for an audit. If you are selected for an audit, don't panic, follow the steps that PMI tells you to follow. I will be doing a separate video on the PMI audit. Again, it's just a thing to verify that you have done few things that you mentioned on your application. Now that the audit is out of the way, you've completed the application, they will ask you to pay the fee. Once you pay the fee for the exam, it goes into panel review. It means that there are a panel of experts by PMI that will review your application and then tell you whether you're eligible to sit for the exam. Once you successfully complete panel review, now you get the authority to actually take the exam and from here on you have one year. You have one year to be able to sit for the PGMP exam and get certified. If you don't complete it within a year, then you have to go through the entire process again. One more thing about this entire process, once you start the PMI application, you have about 90 days to complete it. Sounds like a lot, but as I said, it's a long, detailed, tedious application, so give it your time and energy because you're going to need all of it. So here it was, guys. I discussed almost all the things that I wanted to in this video. Again, timestamps are in the description box below, so please take a look at it, and that way you can scroll through the video. I hope my videos are helping you. If they are, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.